wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the dreaded D. -ra Do I look all right? Would be the first time. Hey, got some uh, news. Let's go on for about nine and a half minutes. See if I can uh, get this. How many times I'm going to stumble? Uh, WWE has changed live event uh, on August 29th, New York, New Jersey, from a SmackDown show to a Raw show. Jack Swagger versus Ricky Steam, rather uh, Jack Swagger versus Big Show with Ricky Steamboat as referee was announced. But John Cena versus Sheamus in a steel cage match. Randy Orton versus Chris Jericho uh, and The Miz versus Our Truth has also been advertised. All right, we got. Uh, it's been said that the WWE released Savannah partly because of uh, her messing up some lines in a recent episode of NXT when she was interviewing uh, Wade Barrett. Oh boy, Wade's got his nose up somewhere. People are taking care of him. Of course, he might be on the short list with the way he slammed Vince. Of course, Vince. I guess he could take it. Uh, WWE is making plans for uh, Season 3 of NXT. The current season ends in late August. WWE has a sci-fi slot until the end of September, so SmackDown can debut on the network in October. Don't forget about this. SmackDown uh, changing stations. There's no word yet on where the third season of NXT is going to air at. Uh, could be on their website. Could be on YouTube. I'm going to stick my neck out and say YouTube. Lisa, uh, or Tara, what do you want to call her, had a $3,000 set of custom wheels stolen from her car uh, that was parked outside her home recently. The theft then uh, brought the wheels to a custom car dealer and asked them how to put them on his car. The dealer uh, just happened to be Black Widow's custom, which Tara owns. The employee at her shop recognized the wheels and called the police. The theft was, uh, thief was arrested. I think uh, should have put the spider to, her, to him. Hey, by the way, Sid Vicious is scheduled to wrestle for Dreamwave Wrestling June 5th, I guess, in LaSalle, Illinois. Not sure, but not too familiar with them. Uh, but did not show up. The promoters got word that morning that Sid didn't board his flight and spent all day trying to get in touch with him. Sid finally called, back, called him back and uh, uh, said that uh, he got to the airport. He forgot to bring his passport. So they didn't let him board the flight. Uh, keep in mind, Sid was flying from Memphis to uh, Memphis, Tennessee, to Chicago, Illinois, and uh, didn't know you had to have a uh, passport to go from state to state. Well, with him, you never know. WWE is planning to release more paperback books uh, for kids, including WWE Mad Lib book. Evan Borden, he's going to be appearing at the FCW live event show Monday, August 2nd, Sarasota, Florida at the Roberts Arena. There's been a fake match listed for WWE upcoming uh, Chris Jericho DVD going around online, I guess. Now, whether I told you about it or not, I don't know. We'll find out. While the actual match listed isn't known yet, uh, we do know that Chris Jericho and Ultimo Dragon match from Japan is on the DVD. And this is a match that Paul Heyman saw years ago and then decided to hire Chris Jer Jericho in ECW. So it should be a good one. TNA Global Champion uh, Rob Terry is currently featured in July uh, 19, or 2010 issue of Muscle Fitness Magazine. Hopefully they're just pictures because he walked very good. <laughs> if he had to run out of a building, he'd be in trouble. Uh, anyway, uh, several cities as been under consideration, but uh, TNA announced yesterday that this year's Bound for Glory pay-per-view was going to be taking place at Daytona Beach, Florida at the Ocean Center October 10th. Uh, TNA is pushing the date to, as 10-10-10. Uh, it only happens every few hundred years. Anyway, the idea is to make an event so big that it happens only once a century. Century. So go figure. Let me see, 2010 to 2011. I don't think it's a century, but all right. The press release last night noted that several events was going to be taking place in Central Florida this weekend, including fan interaction on Saturday, October 9th. Bound for Glory tickets going on sale Saturday, August August 7th. TNA is advertising Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Rob Van Dam, Jeff Hardy, Anderson, uh, Angle, Sting, Styles, Joe, Knockouts, and the X Division stars for the show. Tiffany, Kofi Kingston, and Rey Mysterio, no, they're not going to be there, 
will be at the Central Library in Atlanta, Georgia, Tuesday, July 6th from uh, 11 to 12.30, an hour and a half. Uh, WWE is going to be releasing details on WrestleMania 27th uh, reading challenge and how the Atlanta Fulton Public Auction or Auction uh, Public Library system is involved. Uh, Vince McMahon has put uh, Jim Ross to work at, on uh, as uh, John uh, Laronitis booking consultant when uh, it comes to putting the house shows together. I guess John used to do that. JR is going to be putting together the house shows. Former uh, WWE Diva Champion Timmy Lynn Cinch, oh my god, I miss her, is currently writing a book about her wrestling career. Former East, uh, WWE ECW star Jazz and uh, Rodney Mack, they're also writing a book together uh, with the idea that it's going to be the first wrestling book written from a couple's point of view. But it should be a real short book though. Tiffany Kofi Kingston, Rey Mysterio will be at the, oh I done told you that. I don't know why my page went down instead of up. Uh, where am I at? Press release. Uh, oh, about four events. Uh, let's see, matches advertised for TNA. Uh, live event uh, July 2nd in Brooklyn. It includes uh, Rob Van Dam taking on AJ Styles. Viz taking on Jeff Hardy. Angle taking on Desmond Wolf. Uh, Amazing Red. Brian Kendrick's also advertised. The next night, uh, July 3rd, TNA is going to be in Ashbury, New Jersey. Matches include. Pretty much the same same lineup though. Uh, Christopher Daniels though suffered a ruptured eardrum after slapping after being slapped by Kenny Omega at the uh, Ring of Honor show on uh, Saturday night. And man, that's wonder a lot more people don't get their eardrums busted. Uh, as noted uh, before, TNA and Spike TV had been planning on a four hours of programming on Thursday nights with uh, Explosion, Impact, and then Reaction. Spike has just removed reaction from their schedule, so it look, kind of looks like TNA may have uh, not have the three slots on Thursday, but reaction is scheduled to uh, air mid-July at 11 p.m. time slot after impact again. So they took it off for a while. I don't know. They got people when they start uh, networks start moving uh, shows around at different time slots. You on the short list? Coming out of last night's uh, TNA Impact. There's a current confirmation card for Road to Victory. We got TNA uh, World Title match is going to be Mr. Anderson versus Abyss versus Jeff Hardy versus Rob Van Dam. Tag team match uh, champions Beer Money taking on Motor City Machine Guns, which I think they do all the time. Ultimate match, uh, Ultimate X match for the X Division title. Brian Kendricks, Doug Williams. Uh, TNA Knockouts is Angelina Love taking on Madison Rain. Steel Cage match Hernandez versus Matt Morgan. AJ Style versus Jay Lethal or himself. Linda McMahon has released an interesting campaign uh, ad with footage up from WWE, her uh, first ad of its kind. Uh, Linda says that she had a regular job, she says, that isn't real, but our problems are. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ric Flair recently uh, interviewed by Sports uh, UK. Uh, to promote the uh, upcoming TNA tour of the UK January 11. So you guys over there, you save your Coke bottle money up, get some tickets. Here's some highlights of uh, what Flair had to say in the, in the interview though. Uh, relationship with Hulk Hogan, he said it's good, we agree to disagree. Uh, as uh, is all will ever be. It is uh, you know, always business. It's always been magic. There's always been uh, going interest going on. And right now, uh, we'll be limited uh, to what we can do. I see somebody getting ready to come in. Hey, I'm about out of time anyway. Thanks for clicking. There you go.